Hey, what is up guys? We got Russell and Jeff from Crowding Racing. Guys, what can you tell me about the build? Well, it's an 89 Mustang that we uh, had uh, Lions Custom Motorsports built for us from ground up. You can't you can't beat Tim Lions' work, of course. Um, it's got an all aluminum 540 Donovan motor in it with F3 Pro Charger. Um, it's got fuel tech engine management system on it. 18 degree uh, big chief heads. Okay. Yeah. Um, just a beautiful car. Um, can't complain at all. Uh, just looking to run some numbers with this thing, okay. finally. Good deal, good deal. Guys, let's walk over to the car and check out it for ourselves. So what can you show me as far as in the engine bay? Well, I mean, of course, you got the F3 Pro Charger, uh, gear driven, Chris Austin gear drive. Um, of course, this right here is not factory. Um, we had some fuel pump problems, so we had to MacGyver some stuff in here to get her to run today. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I mean, just it's, it's coming on along. The horsepower numbers are pretty close to where we want to be. Of course, we always want more. And then Jeff can walk you through the the, the real technical stuff. Okay. This pretty much a uh, Donovan 540 big block, big chief headed motor, Cowlitz crank, uh, GRP rods. Mm -hmm. uh, I, believe we, I believe it's got a Ross piston in. I'm not sure about the piston, but it's, it's been a while. But we uh, we ready to go race. Ready to see some good numbers out of it. So. Perfect. Perfect. Alrighty, guys, let's check out this Donovan footage and see it in action. Cameron, can you give me a rundown of the cockpit? Uh, yeah, so just your standard race hard cockpit here. One thing that's kind of, I guess, unique now, uh, since a lot of people are running alcohol, this car runs on gas. So we've got a huge water to air intercooler over here. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the corner, but there's a little black tank over there with a, a silver cap on the top of it. That actually has ice water in it. Um, and there's a pump in there. It pumps ice cold water through the intercooler and then it goes through the engine to keep everything real cool. And uh, that's the name of the game with intercoolers. You want to make sure that you have the coldest, densest air possible to make as much power as you can. Perfect. Let's get ready to see this baby in action.
as we say here on the dyno, there is no bad day at the dyno. We always learn something. And from this vehicle in particular, we actually learned a ton. The car came here pretty much fresh from being assembled to, to, to be able to shake down at the track. Instead of that, we're shake, shaking down here at the dyno. We make sure everything works as it should, and we can make 100% sure at how the car can perform on the track on a safe environment. So this time we face uh, some small issues like uh, fuel delivery and some lines and stuff like that. That's normal. Every single new car blues, right? So uh, as we progress doing more and more runs, this is just some of the runs, we face a different trouble. Something happened on the drive line. So as you guys can see, we were doing runs, making more power, making more power, going further down the track on a safe environment. And unfortunately, at the last run that we made, something happened to the drivetrain. So what does that mean? It means that something went wrong. Now we can figure out what went wrong, but it was completely safe here at the dyno facility. Now the team can take stuff out, check what happened, try to beef out a part or just to replace a part that was a regular failure. And they are ready to go down the track because they know they are safe until to that point but everything should be pretty much like extrapolated to down the track. So they are ready to go do some shakedowns at the run, uh, the track and make some power. So if you enjoy this awesome content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, put your comments below and go over to our Fuel Tech website to check out any of these products that you've seen in this video. I'll see you guys at the race.